What's up everyone? This is Jason here. Today we're going to be doing a video. I've been getting some questions about what settings do we use on our Geo 3.1 and how we have it configured. Now before we get the video started, remember we live in Southern California. Everyone's Geo is going to be different. It's all about player preference and how you want your marker to perform. So please keep that in mind. So the first two things physically on the marker is we have taken out the flat face bolt and put the soft tip. We did notice better performance, better consistency, and we weren't flame throwing paint. So that's one good thing. The other thing is really with the solenoid adjuster, just leave it in the middle. What we notice is if we put it down too low, it's a softer shot, but we had a lot of bolt cycling problems. If you put it too high, it kicks like a mule. So just right in the middle is just, just leave it at that. You're going to have the best out of that. Now, the other thing that we are going to recommend is we did go out and actually purchase the ePortal software for this marker. It makes board programming a walk in the park. I believe, we, I believe these go for $29.95, give or take where you buy it, maybe $32. So, but it does come with the disc, and this also works for a numerous Planet Eclipse markers, so keep that in mind. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. With the software, of course, you get the adapter, which what you do is you actually, we took the grips off to make it a little bit easier. You don't have to. So what you do is it goes right here and if everyone already knows about this software that's fine we're just doing this to make it easier for everyone to see how we have our geo set up so if we can go ahead and get to the computer screen now so the first thing we want to do is actually open up the ePortal software and basically the disclaimer disclaimer says don't have the marker gassed up, don't have it live, remove the barrel, remove the hopper, basically like any warning. So here's your programming. So let's go ahead, we turn on the marker. And boom, it got our information as you can see up in the corner, Geo, underneath Eclipse Geo 3, firmware 1.52 and standard. So, with this software, you actually get a little help tutorial right here. You actually can adjust the parameter, which is aka your settings. You can even make a custom splash screen, which we have done for this marker. You can actually update your marker's firmware as well. So, definitely a little bit of software I do recommend. So, let's go to the parameter first. Now up here in the corner, we can actually get the parameters with one click of a button of what we are using. So let's do that and well, bam. So we'll go ahead and just zoom in. And because I'm directly next to the microphone, I'm going to kind of lower my voice a little bit. So our firing mode, we always use semi. I don't use PSP or NXL or auto response or any of them. I stick to semi-automatic which as you can see is right there. Now we actually cap every single one of our paintball guns at 15 BPS. A lot of the fields near me, they require it. And I am a strong believer in that. You should cap your guns. First of all, it's gonna save on paint. And two, it's gonna save you from doing any kind of dickhead move. Like, I don't know, overshooting somebody. <clears throat> now, with the triggers, you actually get two options. You get a switch, let me use the mouse here, or you get an opto. With every Planet Eclipse I've ever owned, I've always left it with the switch. It, I just prefer the trigger pull, I prefer the overall functionality of it. Now the solenoid power, we do have ours on low power which you can change it from medium or high. We have ours on low. So just to let everybody know, our black light time is basically set for 20 minutes. Now, I customized the color scheme so that when you turn on the marker, 
the OLED actually is orange. It's my girlfriend's favorite color, and yes, this is her marker. I bought it for her. So yeah, she's shooting a massively expensive marker. So now, if you come down, I know a lot of people love messing with their dwell on these markers. I am going to recommend do not touch the dwell on this. I did start to adjust it and the marker shot like crap. And that was my own fault. It was not Planet Eclipse. It was my own stupidity. So leave the dwell at 26.0. It's going to give you the best operating for the solenoid and the dwell. The debounce. I put mine to level three. Now, you got to be careful with debounce. You want to make sure you don't put it too high and you don't put it too low. You put it too low, you're going to be shooting, then all of a sudden your gun's going to go off like an AK-47. You put it too high, it's going to make a single shot shotgun. So be really careful. Level three is totally fine for us. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it all depends on how your marker is set up. Our pull time... We kept for, we put ours at 5.0 milliseconds just to ensure that the ball is in bridge, everything's operating so we don't chop any balls. Same thing with release time, 5.0. Breach empty time, 4.0. Breach full time, 4.0. All the rest of the stuff such as display, game timer, alarm time, top, start time, that's just really going to help you learn how to do drills it's going to basically show you if the, if the ref says it's a five minute game you can actually set your gun just for five minutes so you know how long you have so like i said definitely really handy software to get it's going to help you program because if you don't do it this way you do have to go off the little LED, the oled screen which can be a royal pain in the butt so basically we'll go through the way we have our gun set up Firing mode, semi-auto. Maximum rate of fire, 15 BPS. Trigger, sens uh, trigger sensor, switch. Solenoid power, low power. Dwell, 26. Pull time, I'm sorry, debounce, level 3. Pull time, 5 milliseconds. Release time, 5 milliseconds. Ball empty time, 4. Breach full, 4. That's our settings for our GO 3.1. But yet again, I have to stress this out. It depends on where you play, your environment, and all that other good stuff. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. This is Jason doing the programming options we set up for our Geo 3.1. Thanks for watching.